yeah so it means while we are understanding the system landscapes here from implementation project or support project or the data migration project so here there is a one logic included based on the testing also the point is while we are comparing with these two projects the implementation and as well as the support project so we can see here we have four systems like e01 r01 and q01 and p01 but where it comes to here we can see we have only three systems development d01 q01 and p01 why here we have three systems okay and why here we have four systems and again here why we need to maintain four systems so it includes the testing point also why because where it comes to implementation project so we need to do these are all testings like unit testing and uh, the functional testing uat testing regression testing integration and performance and uh, this is not correct factor also the correct point will be the first one is the unit testing and the next one is the functional and uh, the next one is the integration and the next one is the uat and next one is the performance finally i can mention as regression testing also actually this is the flow of testing happened in the implementation project but where it comes to the support project we have only two testings one is uat and the second one is the regression testing that's it we don't um, do all the different type of testing in support project no so we have to maintain only uat and as well as regression testing in the support project but where it comes to implementation project so we have all the testings what i mentioned in the above point like unit functional integration uat performance and regression and all and where it comes to enhancement so we are not doing only regression so we have to do the uat also even once we are implementing any new functionality or once we are implementing any new feature in the sap so we need to send out uh, those things into quality system we need to ask the user it is nothing but uat user acceptance testing and once the user is okay with the uat then only we are moving our changes finally into production system but even once we maintained the uat also again we need to go with regression testing why so because of this new implementations or because of this new points is there any affected in the already functionality already existing functionality in the system we need to cross check and then only finally we are moving our changes into production system so the point is here why we are maintaining four systems in the implementation project so here we are using this one is the totally configuration part in implementation project and where it comes to r01 system so this systems we used earlier for unit testing slash functional functional testing slash integration testing so for this testings so we will be maintaining in the r01 system and where it comes to quality so we maintained earlier only uat user acceptance user acceptance testing 
and finally we are moving our changes to p01 system like production system so this process we need to understand how the testing is happened in the real time and where it comes to unit testing is nothing but what i explained earlier unit testing is performed by the development team some of the projects the developer itself need to do testing own itself and where it comes to some of the projects in the development team the colleagues like this concept only we are called as peer review concept peer review so it means i am configured something configuration and my configuration will cross check one of my team member once he accepted okay and once he, he is given the approval from the peer review so then only i will change my uh, cd status into next status like unit testing passed and this process is vice versa same another developer is doing some uh, configuration and uh, me need to do some testing whether that person is doing correctly or not and the second testing functional testing so this functional testing in my earlier project so maintained by the design team so how the functional testing is happened see so many members asking same this question repeatedly by seeing my youtube videos or by knowing me uh, from of uh, from their friends or colleagues so many members are asking sir exactly how we are doing unit testing how we are doing functional testing in real time see the point is we are not using any tools and we are not using any uh, what i said uh, uh, any the new tools or the new techniques no just we can cross check in the system whether the developer is maintained correctly or not the configuration part whether he is okay whether he is maintained everything is correct then we will pass the unit testing so out of 10 configuration so maybe the developer is maintained 9 is correct and one is not uh, maintained correctly then we are failing the unit testing so same this way only we are uh, doing the unit testings or functional testings while we are working with real time projects okay and where it comes to functional testing is performed by the design team and we knows one point it's very clear in my earlier project the design team only will give the requirements to the build and config team and at the time of rfc the design team will maintain the the design uh, template like the configuration guide or the business blueprint whatever it is and even the excel input information also maintained by the design team so those things provided by the design team to the build team and build team is doing the configuration part and build team will move the changes from development this e01 system to r01 system so in this area again one more time already the development team is doing already the development team done by the unit testing but we are not accepting one more time the design team will cross check that configuration whether the development team is doing correctly or not if the design team is satisfied if the design team is okay then only the design team will pass the functional testing why because here the requirements and here the documents and here each and everything provided by the design team and the next point integration testing we know in sap the very very important function very very important feature is the integration integration is nothing but merging so while we are considering any business process so in business again we have different functionalities like finance sales and distribution material management or production planning or warehouses so we have different type of uh, functions is there and where it comes to sap we know each and every function we have different uh, sub modules in the sap like for sales and distribution we have sd and material management we have mm where it comes to production we have pp 
and where it comes to warehouse we have wm or ewm where it comes to finance our favorite finance module so likewise while we are using this different uh, modules and we know exactly which modules we need to integrate with which modules where it comes to finance we need to integrate with co module mm module sd module and uh, even we need to integrate with hr module so this type of this way of integrations once we performed any that integration related configuration so we need to perform the integration testing whether this configuration is working with other modules or not let's say for example i will be maintaining fi configuration and sd consultant will maintain by the sd related configuration but we know uh, the order to cash flow cycle like enquiry quotation delivery billing and finally amount received from the customer and finally brs so this integration is happened correctly or not so we need to cross check one more time so this testing we are called as integration testing and again integration testing performed by the testing team in my earlier project and some of the projects even integration testing is also performed by the design team so that is the different case and the next one the final one and these three testings we performed in the r01 system and the next one is the final testing uat user acceptance testing so again here i have so many doubts who is performed by the uat in the real time projects and again here we have different scenarios so the first scenario will be uat performed by the testing team so we have to maintain by the separate testing team for the uat and uat performed sometimes the business team we don't have any separate testing team so, but we have business team business team will perform the uat and even the uat performed by the users also like end users end user or super user or power user likewise so it means please try to understand uat is performed we are not say standardly uat performed by the testing team or standardly we cannot say uat performed by the business team and one more standardly we cannot say uat performed by the end users or super users or power users why because the project to project while we are working with real time so definitely these things also performed by the different teams on project to project based on the the project process based on the the project nature of work so even the head of the projects so the head people of the projects will maintain these are all things like who is doing this testing and who is doing this testing and who is doing this testings these are all things designed and planned by the high level people and once uat is okay then only our changes will move to p01 and again in p01 moving and again here we have go live again in go live we have two types of go lives one is system go live and the second one is business go live what is this difference so where it comes to system go live so we are moving all our changes to p01 system each and everything so regarding to the all modules configuration all data migration activities all things we are moving to p01 system but we are not allowing to the users to use the system it means we are not allowing 
users it means the business we are not allowing to use the p01 system why because once the system go live is done so being a solution architect earlier i worked as a solution architect in my project so at that time being a solution architect and again we need to cross check the system functionality one more time with all the entries and even all the interfaces and even all the other components which is migrated with the sap system and sometimes what happened so we will be maintaining the master data in some tools like some uh, other tools and that tools uh, we are connecting to the sap with the process of cpi cloud platform integration or bpa business process automation and these things is also is working perfectly or not is working fine or not we need to cross check and we need to check one more time the final check and once this final check is okay with the solution architect so then at the time of business go live date so maybe the system go live date and the business go live date it depends upon the 7 days or 10 days or 15 days there is a some time gap so once this time within this time so being a solution architect we need to cross check all the things before we are giving access to the business it means before we are giving access to the end users okay then what do you mean by business go live so at the time of business go live same p01 system only nothing in different system and all we are allowing to the users to post the invoices it means we are allowing to the end users okay so this way we need to perform the go live in the implementation project and as well as the testing scenario and again i will try to explain one more time please try to understand the implementation project overall how we are working in the real time environment okay so up to now anyone have any doubts or is it clear so again uh, one more uh, i am going into the implementation project uh, overview so first of all the testing project we will try to complete so here in implementation project so we are doing these are all testings and all and when it comes to support project so we are not doing the unit testing and we are not doing the functional testing and we are not doing the integration testing why so once the implementation project is completed and once the business go live is done and after go live again we have the some more activities with pgls like post go live support or hyper care support what is this pgls and hypercare support so once the business go live is happened later after business go live the initial period of 15 days or one month whoever participated in the implementation project those consultant will give support to the support here also this process we are called as pgls or hypercare support pgls means post go live support and hypercare support means both are same only and uh, this one i can say uh, for example uh, we knows uh, for example some accident is happened one patient so initially we are sending into the emergency and some surgeries or something is happened later we are moving to icu right so those icu period here we in sap we are called as pgls or hyper care support we know in icu how we need to treat it as a patient and all so same principle will be applicable this place also it means whenever we are getting the incidents or whenever we are getting some issue so we need to resolve it as early as possible 
and here why the implementation team only will be performing 